guys, so I've been meaning to get to this video for a little bit. Um, I sh sort of gave it a sneak peek when I did my inventory video. I showed the bag of what I've decluttered next to the basket of things I've acquired from Avon over the past few months. And um, yeah, I am going to share the contents of that basket with you today. Um, starting with a bunch of nail polish. I'm just going to quickly run through the nail polish because there is quite quite a bit. First of all I have four Color Trend polishes. These are um, sort of our cheaper range ones. They usually go for around 150 a bottle. Um, they're great if you just want like um, a pop of colour, like a trendy colour that you don't want to spend a lot of money on. Um, so I have four here. We have a Rare which is like a darker nude. Pout which is a much paler nude. Um, this is Grape Gelato, which is a soft lilac shade. And then we have Bubblegum, which is a nice bright pink. Um, I have the Nail Style Studio collection that came out um, around November time. It was like a Christmas launch. Um, we have a Cool Slick, which is sort of purpley. And these are all like oil slick type um, products. Uh, this is Warm Slick, which is a really nice bronzy toned one. This one is Oil Slick, which is a, like a true oil slick sheen. And then we have Magic Slick, which is more of like a, a violet -y purple with gold. They're really pretty on the nails. Next up I have four from the um, sort of fall collection. These came out around Halloween time. They are still available. All of these things I'm showing you right now are still available. Um, this is Spilled Ink and it's sort of like an off black. These are all um, sort of dark shades that are not quite black. Um, so this one is an off black. This is Wild and Bitten and it's like an off black but it, it's more of like a really 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 dark red. Um, it looks black in the container but it does have more of a red hue on the nails. We have Into the Dark, which is like an indigo purple. Again, on the screen right now, it's going to look more black, but it is, you can kind of see it reflecting off of the light there. It's more of an indigo, an indigo purple. And then we have Cast a Shadow, which is a really dark sort of purple based grey. And these are the last few Mark polishes that I picked up. Um, this one is in Fabulous, which is sort of like a coral shade. We have a Violicious, which is a really nice pale nude. A Berry Nutty, which is one of our top, but one of my top sellers anyway, and it's a, a darker mushroom nude, very similar to Mushroom by Barry M. And then we have Moody, which I kind of thought was going to be similar to Cast Shadow, but they are very, very different. This is more of like a taupey nude nail, very pretty. I know I just said that was the last remark. I lied. This is a spring collection from Mark. They came out with six beautiful polishes for spring. So we have three pastel colours and then three brighter colours. This is In Bloom. It's a very pale sort of peach coral. Um, we have Floral Days, which is a nice soft lilac shade. Then we have Pink of Me, which is, as you can see, a milky pink. And I have got swatches of these up on my blog, which I'll link in the info box. Um, we have Playful Wink, which is a gorgeous hot pink. Um, I've been needing to replace my hot pinks, um, so I'm, I'm really happy to have that one. This is Hot Catch, which isn't quite as orangey as I thought it was going to be. It's it's more of a really bright peach. Um, but it does still look nice on the nails. And then we have Sassy Pants, which I also really like. Um, it's a very nice sort of like peony purple, like a dark peony purple. Very, very pretty. But we're not quite done with polishes yet. Um, next up I have the A1 True Colour shades I've picked up. Um, we have a Turquoise Water, which is a gorgeous dark sort of aqua green shade. Um, this is also going to be available in a gift set coming up. Um, so, you know, if you if you're interested in it, We've got a perfume launching and I believe it's the middle of February where you can pick up a gift set where this is in it for free. So just keep that in mind. 
This is Curl Confidence, which is a gorgeous hot orange. Um, this is what I thought this shade was going to be like. As you can see, they're very, very different. Still not quite the orange I'm looking for, but it's a nice addition to my collection. This is Naked Truth almost always in some kind of gift with purchase so if you are an Avon customer you'll probably end up with one of those at some point. Next up we have Simply Cinnamon which again is like a warm nude. Um, when compared to the likes of Berry Nutty it's a lot a lot paler and slightly more warm toned. I'm excited to try that guy out. Um, this is Sheer Love, which is actually one of the pearl shine enamels. It's more of like a gloss finish for your nails. If you want just, um, if you just want like a really natural look to your nails, this will just give them a glow. This is Dusty Fog, which again is like a cool toned, um, sort of nude polish. Um, if compared to Moody, as you can see, it, it is definitely a lot lighter, um, I thought looking in the books that they would be pretty much the same colours so I was hesitant to pick them both up but I'm quite happy to discover that they are different. Next up we have Pastel Pink which is a really nice baby pink colour. Again if compared to one of the Mark shades this is Pink of Me, I believe it was, yes. They are, they are different shades. This is more of a... Um, how would I describe the difference? This is more of a clean colour. It's more of like a an off-white pink shade. Um, next up we have Royal Raspberry, which I can't wait to try out. It looks absolutely stunning in the bottle. Same with Real Red. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be similar to Vodka and Caviar, because um, I am looking for a red like that to replace my OPI with. And lastly for polishes, I have some metallics. This is Golden Vision, which is a gorgeous metallic gold. We have Majestic, Majestic Mauve, which again is stunning, very, very pretty. We have Cosmic Blue which I love a metallic blue. I think every woman should own a metallic blue of some description. And then we have a rose gold, which isn't quite what I had in mind for a rose gold. It's more of like a, a metallic baby pink than a rose gold, but it might go on the nails different. I haven't tried it out yet, so we'll, we'll save judgment until it's on the nails. Okay, so now I'm going to dive into the basket, into the actual makeup, um, starting with Mascaras, just to get them out of the way. I do have a fourth mascara, which I can't locate at the moment. We have the Big and Daring Mascara, which looks like this. It is a massive brush. It does look nice on the lashes when you wipe off the excess, but with the brush being so big, it does have a tendency to get on your eyelids when you're trying to apply it, which is not a plus at all. This is the Mark Big and Extreme mascara, which I haven't tried yet, um, but it has got a nice, more compact wand, which um, I've got high hopes for. Hopefully, it'll work a lot better than the Big and Daring. So I like the formula of the mascara; just the wand is hit and miss. This is the Super Shock Definition mascara, and this kind of just has a. A sort of triangle. I don't know if it'll. Oh uh, no, you're not gonna see it. It's sort of got three sections of bristles, and then in between there are no bristles, um, and they kind of twist a bit at the top. Um, I know this sounds really confusing. You'd have to see it in person, but it is really nice. I get a lot of good inner corner work with this mascara and it doesn't like smudge or anything either which I really like. I do want to try some of the other Super Shop mascaras so once I've used those guys up I might try a few more. And I can't for the life of me remember what the fourth mascara is. Um, it's definitely one of the Mark mascaras. I know that much um, but 
it'll be somewhere. It's, I, I tidied my desk. I know it doesn't look like it, but my desk is now actually really tidy. It just happens to have this stuff sitting in front of it. Um, so it's probably fallen down the back of the desk while I was tidying or something. I have a cream shadow. This is one of the Mark Big Color Contour pencils. Uh, this is in Naturally Nude. And it's just kind of a beige with a slight shimmer to it. Not not even like a shimmer, it's more of just like a, a sheen. Um, I still have to try this on the eyes. I've used it maybe once or twice. It, it basically works the same as normal eyeshadow pencils would. I picked up some of the gel pot liners from MARC. We have in Plum, which it's, it's not as purpley as I hoped it was going to be. Um, it's a bit... It goes on a bit sheer for my liking. I haven't tried the other two shades yet, or at least if I have, I don't remember. Um, I picked them up in brown. No, I haven't used this one. It's definitely a warm brown. It kind of reminds me of the colour of um, the Maybelline brown pot liner. And I also picked up the black shade because your girl has got to have some black gel liner and I haven't used this one yet either so it's just the plum one I've tried so far and the plum one as I said did go on a bit sheer um, and it wasn't quite as vibrant as I hoped it was going to be but we'll try out the other shades and see how they go. I'm realizing that there are a couple of pieces that I don't have here with me I'm missing an eyeshadow single in taupe um, and I'm also missing a duo and I believe it's Emerald Forest, which is a shame because they are they're beautiful products. Um, but oh well, we'll we'll just continue. Starting with these guys, I haven't used them, so I'm just gonna quickly show you them. I have the shade in Midnight. The formula on their singles on the like I've tried. I I can't remember the exact name. But it was a very pretty taupe colour. Um, it doesn't matter just now. But this is in the shade Midnight. And it's a matte navy. Oh, wow. A matte navy blue. I am... Colour me impressed. <laughs> That's actually really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Max Plumage. Oh my god, look at the matte product still left in my fingers. That's crazy. Um... Well, that's impressive. <laughs> and then I also picked up a highlight shade in Soft Vanilla because if there's one product eyeshadow wise I go through is um, highlight shades and I did need one for doing all Avon looks. So this is Soft Vanilla. And again, this is quite pigmented. I, I definitely did a lighter swatch on that one. As you can see, it is quite pigmented. So I'm, I'm looking forward to using those guys. I'm very impressed with them so far. We have the Perfect Wear True Colour quads. And I also have one of the Mark quads. Now, I will say, this is the only Mark quad that I've tried. It's the only Mark eyeshadow that I've tried. And I'm not very impressed by this one at the moment. Um, when I picked this up, in the picture it looked a lot more green than it clearly is in person so that was a, a huge letdown and they are all shimmer colors so I feel like I can't get a whole look out of this one palette um, I do very much like this shade and I very much like this shade for liner um, this one I, I haven't used as you can see it's not it's not been touched and this guy um, it just kind of kind of blends away into nothing. I don't know if this is the standard of all Mark eyeshadows or eyeshadow quads. I will have to try maybe one or two more to give you guys a full review but so far I'm not very impressed with the Mark eyeshadow formula. But the Perfect Wear quads, I'm in love with these guys. Uh, so we have Toasted Caracotta which is one I've banged on about relentlessly. It is beautiful. You have a dark warm brown, you have a copper shade. This is actually it's sort of like a, a golden olive shade and then this is um, like a vanilla shade shot through with gold shimmer. That's another reason why I picked up the single highlight matte shade because none of these 
as I so far I've seen come with a matte highlight shade. They're all shimmer sort of inner corner highlights or lid shades. So that is Toasted Terracotta. This one is Blue Diamond, which I can't wait to get my hands into. Try and do something with this blue. Let's wash it next to the navy. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue there. Next we have uh, Mocha Latte, which is a cult classic from Avon. It's just a gorgeous basic nude shade. And there goes the little applicator things. Um, next we have Enchanted Amethyst, which looked beautiful and actually kind of reminds me of, um, I think it was this one, reminds me of an Estee Lauder quad. Um, what was another one? Do, 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 do. Oh no, it was this one. Nearly Naked. It reminds me of Surreal Skies from Estee Lauder back from their old range of quads. Well, quints. But um, you know what I mean. And lastly from this selection, is this last one? Yes. This is Emerald smoke which as you can see I've, I've used this one quite a bit also there is another one where is it here uh, so this is emerald smoke it has a really dark green sort of shimmery green a nice warm sort of transitioning shade and again a vanilla shot through with shimmer and the one i thought was missing which was just rolled away slightly this is in vibrant spice and this is gorgeous like if you want uh like a vampy if i could recommend two two palettes out of this range um and you like warm tones i would go with ter uh, toast terracotta and vibrant spice because these two just go beautifully together and lastly for eye products we have the eyeliners which was possibly one of the biggest jumps in my whole inventory because I picked up so so many. These are the big gel paint liners which used to be known I believe as the super shock liners um, before Mark the brand came over here and I I used to use the super shock liners a lot. I loved them. Um, this is in rich copper like that this is these are actually stunning i love them um i will do sorry i'm like shaking the bed i will do a video or like a blog post or something just on these products this is in this is an eyebrow pencil put that down for a second this is in ultraviolet which is gorgeous Again, you can't really see it too well in this lighting. Um, I have cobalt. Which, oh my god, guys, this cobalt. Oh, I wonder if this would... Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Blend this out and put a blue eyeshadow over it. It's going to look fab. Absolutely fab. Um, this is Plumful which is much more my type of purple liner and then we have I believe this is just black blackout which is just a jet black I do also have um tropical teal somewhere and a silver shade but I, I can't find them at the moment I have some of the Glimmer 6 diamond eyeliners and these are the eyeliners that have got a really nice shimmer to them um, so we have Emerald Glow, looks like that. <clears throat> Again, these aren't going to show up very well in this lighting, probably. Again, I'll do like a blog post. This is Black, ba Black Bu, Black Bow. It's B I O U X, Black Bu. But it's like a black shot through with like purple shimmer like if black tide from mac 
was an eyeliner, it would be this. Uh, this is black ice. Um, this is a black shot through with shimmer. I believe it's a, yeah, it's like a holographic shimmer, like cool toned. It's like purpley blues and shimmers. And then we have brown sugar, which is possibly the my biggest seller out of the um, glimmer stick diamond range. And I do really like this one. It's a oh, fig. I rolled it too much and broke it. Um, it's a really nice dark brown with like gold shimmer through it. It's very pretty and um, I haven't found that the glitter gets in your eye or anything. I wouldn't recommend using them in your waterline for that reason though. I've only ever used them as a, like a lower lash line smudge or upper lash line smudge. The glimmer sticks are not the kind of product that you would use if you wanted definition. If you want definition, the big gel paint pencils are probably better. Not probably, they are, they are. Because once you take the tip off of these guys, they aren't, um, they aren't like precise. You don't have a sharp point to work with. It's just sort of like a, you know, you'll end up with something that's thick and smudgy, but it's just the nature of that style of pencil. And then we have the big handful of glimmer sticks. Yikes. <laughs> we have black is black, which this stuff ain't messing. This is, this is black. <laughs> it's none of your charcoal stuff. Um, this one is in navy. Again, I will do, I'll probably do an individual post on each of these ranges. Um, just so if you, if there's a specific product you're looking for, you can look it up specifically. This one is in Starry Night, which I kind of like more than navy because it's, it's got more of a blue to it. They just look like dark smudges on my hand in this light, probably. Uh, this is in Glimmering Onyx. If you are looking for charcoal or a gunmetal, this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's a gorgeous sheen to it. Or we have Saturn Grey. Couldn't have timed that perfectly. Um, this is more of a an actual true grey than a gunmetal. It does have a sheen like a gunmetal would, but it's it's definitely more grey. Next we have a black brown, which is probably one of my most used out of my glimmer stick liners. It's a lot softer than black, but it's still really, really strong. Next we have Crystal Reflection, which is like a white, basically. Um, it's perfect for inner corner highlighting or if you want to pop something on your inner lower waterline, um, that would be your guy. This is a dark brown. Again, I've used this a lot. This is my brow pencil actually. Let's just save this, put this to the side for a moment. Um, but it is a product that I have used a lot. Um, this is Majestic Plum. It's, I was really disappointed with this one because it's not really a lot of plum. It's just that like if you wanted a black but not a black, Majestic Plum would be a good one to go for. Here we have Cosmic Brown. This is the one I thought I was picking up when I picked up my eyeliner, my eyebrow pencil. It's a gorgeous dark sort of warm brown. Again, I have used that one quite a bit. We have um, Khaki which is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It is definitely a true sort of olive khaki shade. Very, very nice, perfect for green looks. Um, this is Twinkle Turquoise. So there is Twinkle Turquoise. It's a very light color. It'd be perfect for spring root looks. So if you're using some kind of pastels, that sort of, that sort of thing. That is actually a lip liner, so we'll put that over there. Um, this is Glistening Topaz, which I really like this shade. Um, 
it's very bold and brash um, but I think it's gorgeous and I think if I were to smudge it a little bit again I could probably use that as an eyeshadow base. It's the kind of thing I like about um, these guys. If you work them properly, like some of them do come in crazy colours, but you could use them for other things. And this last one here is Brilliant Amethyst, which I just snapped. Awesome. You do have to be careful. They are quite soft. This is gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of that taupe shade from Maybelline. Um, it's a little bit lighter than Jazzy Taupe from um, Lancome which was a limited edition um, from Christmas like six years ago. <laughs> but it reminds me of that colour. Maybe it's a slight touch lighter. Okay, and I am going to go and find a wipe and wash this off a little bit before I start on anything else. So I'll try and get the eyeliners off. They're coming slowly. <laughs> They're coming off slowly. Um, they're, they've they've got some staying power definitely like you need to scrub a bit to get these guys off okay so it's not completely gone but it's enough to move on to the next bit um so I have some brow products I have one of the little cream brow pots that they do and this is called the perfect perfect brow cream gel pot and this is in the shade soft brown it is very very warm it does work nicely um, I will need to try a little bit more because I haven't used it in months. <laughs> um, I bought it back in late August and I used it for a couple of weeks and really enjoyed it from what I remember. Um, but I will have to try it out again and, and let you know properly how I, how I like it. Um, the pencil that I have been enjoying... Do I have two Cosmic Browns? Oh my god, I do. I have two Cosmic Brown eyeliners. I did not know that. Um... The pencil I have been enjoying is the um, Glimmer Stick Brow Definer and um, fun fact, these guys were around a little bit before the Anastasia Brow Wiz or like twisty up pencils were becoming a huge thing. These were actually kind of modelled after the MAC Brow Pencils I believe but Anastasia always gets the gets the praise. Uh, so I have them in the shade Dark Brown, which is the one I use the most often. It is slightly warm, um, which is why I picked it up also in the shade Brunette to see if I liked it more. Um, I haven't used it quite that much. Um, it's definitely a lot more of a cooler toned brown, but I do like the way they sit in my brows. And then I have two of the Perfect Brow Sculpting Pencils from MARC. These I actually haven't tried in my brows yet. I've just swatched the colours. Um, so we have Deep Brown. Which is very nice. These are quite creamy actually. The Glimmer Stick Pencils are slightly drier. And then this is in the shade Soft Brown. Which is slightly lighter and a touch warmer as well. I have also ordered the um, the brow tattoos that they've come out with. Um, my shade was out of stock, so it's it's been back ordered. Um, but I can't wait to try that guy out when it comes. Next up, I have face products. Um, I do only have two foundations at the moment. I've ordered a couple from the Mark range. I've ordered the matte foundation and the radiance foundation which I'm I can't wait to try and um, these are from the Avon true color range so we have the flawless liquid foundation which I've used about a quarter of the bottle if not almost half I really like it it's a very nice um like medium buildable coverage I really like the shade match it's not too heavy on the skin it's it's very nice um I wouldn't liken it to anything like Estee Lauder Double Wear or anything like that. It's it's definitely not a matte finish foundation. Um, it is, um, I would say you would get a good eight to ten hours out of it, but it's by no means gonna claim, by no means gonna claim like twenty four hour wear or anything like that. It's a very good workhorse foundation if you're just looking for something for work, basically. <laughs> um, same with the um, flawless creamed powder foundation. 
which is this little guy and usually comes with a little puff here. Um, this is perfect to take with you for touch-ups. Touch I don't know if you can tell. I've almost hit pan on this. Um, I use this sometimes with a brush. I'll use it with a puff. I'll use it with a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll just dab it on with my fingers. I often keep this in my purse for touch-ups or use it for full foundation. This is possibly the foundation I sell the most of. Um, and I think it's one of the foundations that Avon sell the most of. I think it's something like they sell like one a second or something ridiculous like that. Um, so that is those guys. I do also have two of the concealers. This guy, I don't know what this guy's called. Um, if I can find out, I will annotate it because it doesn't have it written anywhere on the tube. But it's a stick concealer and it's in the shade... says N101. I don't know if that's a shade name. Um, but it's just a stick cream concealer. It does the job. Um, I wouldn't really use it for under the eyes. I use it more for around the nose or anywhere where I've got high pigmentation. It's definitely more of a full coverage concealer. So it's a perfect companion to those two foundations. I also have this guy which I'm kind of in love with. This is the Under Eye Brightening Illuminator and I have it in the shade Fair Radiance and this is um, this is definitely marketed as an under eye concealer but I don't know if you'll maybe notice um, if I put a thick swatch. It does have a bit of like a peachness to it so it's designed to correct your under eye as well as brighten and illuminate so you can do the whole sort of effect of a concealer triangle into your eye without having to use so much product is definitely more of a um a natural effect so I, I really like this guy and it's fairly inexpensive it's it kind of reminds me of the NARS radiant creamy concealer but it's definitely a lot thinner of consistency and doesn't sit like cakey under your eyes it's very emollient and luminant luminous luminant luminous um <laughs> sorry a total sales pitch here but it is it is fairly inexpensive um i think full price it's like six or eight pounds but you can often find it for four pounds fifty it's one of our new launches i've also got one of these candlelight um mark magic's highlight sticks this is in the shade candlelight i actually got this as um an incentive gift um, I just swatched that over navy blue eyeshadow. That was not clever. I haven't actually used this on the face yet. Can I... Worst place to swatch it. When I saw these, I kind of was worried that they were going to be like the consistency of stick foundation and be very like, like, um, I don't want to say clay like but you know like very cakey and thick but it's actually very smooth and thin in consistency again I haven't tried it on the face yet so I, I'm not gonna um sing its praises but um I'm looking forward to trying it I'm not as scared to try it as I would have been as I'm going through this I'm discovering there are more things that aren't here that should be um like my color correcting pearls I got a uh a jar of bronzing pearls as well and um, these are the um, flawless finishing pearls in the shade fair these are actually a new product that we brought out last summer I've only just gone around to trying them um, they don't smell as good as the Guerlain pearls but they're they're only 1050 full price and sometimes you can get them as cheap as 550 um, so that definitely beats the 40 plus pound price mark of Guerlain so yes I do have the color correcting pearls which I've used and I really enjoy which is what spurred me on to pick up the finishing pearls and the bronzing pearls and there's also illuminating pearls which I kind of kind of fancy we'll have to see we'll have to see but speaking of bronzing I did pick up one of their bronzers. This is in the shade um, Light Bronze. It's definitely a lot darker than the picture showed. Again, I haven't actually tried this on my face yet. Um, just swatching it there, it's definitely very, very orange. I don't know how I'm going to get on with this guy. It may end up being just a peachy blush. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. I'll let you guys know in future. 
when I actually try it out. I have a couple of the Mark Blush Highlight Duos, which I kind of like, kind of don't like. Um, like, the highlights are ridiculous in this, in these. Um, like, who's really going to put that on their face? I'm sorry, but who? Like, blend it out. It's, it's kind of okay. Is it even showing up? Is it even showing up? No. No, it's not. Let's do a bigger swatch. Um, like, you know, it's, it's very visibly gold. If that's the look you're going for, then fine. Like, in person, when you blend it out, it does look like that. Um, I obviously have to do a heavier swatch for the picture, for it to show up here. Um, but in person, it's still obviously gold on your face. Um, the blush itself, again, it's, it's very sheer pigment, not very happy with them. Uh, that was in the shade Sweet Talk. This is in the shade Breast Pinched. The blush in this one is really nice. It's a very strong, like, matte rose colour. The highlight that goes with it, again, is kind of ridiculous. It's like white. Um, and it's kind of chalky. Um, yeah. I've seen these products um, showing up a lot in the clearance booklets. So I think they're going to be phasing these guys out. I definitely wouldn't recommend them. Um, they're inconsistent. Um, as I say, the highlight shades that go along with them are a bit ridiculous. Maybe they should just like focus their energy on doing a decent, a decent highlighting product. Um, over Christmas, they came out with a rainbow highlighter because, you know, gimmicky Christmas gift. Like I don't, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Just because I'm an Avon rep doesn't mean I'm going to like ask kiss and be like, oh my God, all their products are amazing. Not all their products are amazing. Some of them are a bit duds. Um, as for other blush items, these are the True Color blushes. These are the Luminous Blush. This one is in Warm Honey. Again, I haven't actually tried this on the face yet. But swatch-wise, the color looks really nice. So I can't wait to try these ones. Um, the overall texture of the powder, like they don't feel... Um, this is russet. They don't feel overly powdery or anything like that. Um, oh wow. I think I'm gonna like russet. It's definitely very much up my street there. And they also have the Halo Glow. Um, which is their sort of highlight shade. This I think they could have done better with when you think about the highlight products that we have on the market now. I mean, it's not, sorry, I've got some of russet stuck in there. Let me use my pinky. So here we go. It's definitely more like a shimmery powder. When you think of like the highlights that we have in the market and the highlights that we're used to, really you want something like this sort of like liquidness um, rather than a shimmery powder. It does look nice on the skin. I do like this one. It's definitely more of like a natural highlight shade. Um, and if you're if you're looking for the Tin Man Glow, it's definitely not going to do you. But if you're just looking for something to sort of put a bit of sheen on your face, it's it's a nice one. Um, I wouldn't pay full price for it. I would wait until you can get it on an offer. I found some of my missing things. Um, we have my color correcting pearls which look like this and they are really nice. These guys actually have, um, like it's not gonna go on your face like weird colors. It goes on pretty like a neutral, almost translucent powder, but it's got like a, um, like a sheen finish to it. So it's, it's really, really nice. These are the bronzing powder pearls in the shade Cool. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm not gonna say how they work, but they look pretty. Um, I'm just going to get some on the pulse siding. Um, 
can you can you see the rub on my wrist oh that just kind of looks dirty doesn't it um again this does have sort of like a, a shimmery sort of finish to it but i will try it on the face and let you know how i think of that guy um what else i think that was it for face products i still haven't found the um the taupe eyeshadow it's somewhere it'll be somewhere i'm also missing one of my um whatchamacallit lip tattoos Because I bought three and I got one in an incentive gift. Um, and I can't find it. Um, not that it's a good one. I believe it's in the shade Stay Cool and it's a really dark purple and it's quite patchy. So I would stay away from it. It's it's not a nice one. Um, we have the shade Give Me Heat. And these are, um, they have a thicker marker on one end and a thinner one on the other and the idea is that you line with one side and fill in with the other depending on how the product is flowing it doesn't always work out that way so here we have give me heat um now this is in the shade bright side they will definitely f appear a lot brighter on my hand than they would on your lips this is in the shade Poppin' Poppy, and I really like Poppin' Poppy. It shows up, Poppin' Poppy on my lips shows up a bit more like the way Give Me Heat shows up there. And then I have four of the, the four new colours that are coming out. I haven't actually tried these on my lips yet, I haven't swatched them, nothing. Um, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Let's get them out of the boxes. So we have the shade Petal Pusher. And it's more of like a peachy nude shade. These are so going to stay in my hands. I'm totally going to regret this. Endless Kisses. It's more of like a, a rosy pink. Um, this is Lip Candy. It's more of like a baby pink nude. And this is in Lolly Lips. Oh, that's kind of pretty. It kind of reminds me of Poppin' Poppy. Maybe a bit more coral, but it looks pretty. And they're already set in place. They ain't coming off my hands. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Um. I have four of the Mark lip paints. I have one of the um, metallic shades and three of the matte shades. I think they're all mattes. Matte, matte, yes. This one's class is like a matte, but it does have, it is chock full of shimmer. This is in Kissy Face. It is very, very pretty. These are like mousse texture lip lacquers. That is Kissy Face. Uh, we have Nude Vibes, which was part of like a... These were these were actually all incentive gifts. Um, that's Nude Vibes. Avon do some, like, like if you work at, say, Sephora or Boots, you get gratis. Um, in Avon, you get incentive gifts. Like if you hit a certain sales target or if you place an order during a certain time of month, um, they sometimes give you free product. This is in the shade um, Pinking About You, and it's a gorgeous sort of baby pink nude. Um, this is Plump Up The Jam. Uh, this is one that I wore on um, in a video, a couple of videos back. Like, I 
I really want to like it. I really do. But it's so not my color. It's so not. <laughs> I do have a couple of other shades from the Mark Le Placker on the way. Um, I, write, I like the formula. It's very comfy on the lips. It doesn't dry down to um, like a, 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 like a tight flaky feeling or anything on your lips because of the mousse texture. It sort of like smooths over the bumps of your lips and the mousse itself is kind of matte so it's like you don't really it, it doesn't need to like change texture too much to form like the matte finish although I will say I haven't tried the shine lacquer so I don't know what those guys are like but I haven't had any problems with these bleeding or smearing or anything like that I have two sort of glossy products. This is one of the um, True Color glosses in the shade Iced Pink. Um, I'm not in the habit of buying gloss. This actually came in a gift set with a perfume, the Illuminata perfume. It's a metallic iced pink shade. It's actually kind of sheer. Um, so I just kind of keep it around to moisturize my lips every so often. Um, speaking of moisturizing my lips we have the nourishing lip oil which is a new product this is in the shade blossom um they also have one that has glitter in it i can't remember what it's called um this doesn't really have much of a color it doesn't have any color actually it smells really nice it doesn't have any color to it i'm gonna wax some on because my lips are kind of dry uh, but it feels lovely on the lips and I was worried that having a lip oil would make my, like, ear and my mouth break out or something like that. Or it would, like, smear and make, like, my face greasy. It doesn't. So I'm, I'm really happy with both those products. I believe this is only in two colours at the moment. Um, but the fact that it's pretty much colourless, I don't see... I don't think there would be any need for them to create a shade extension for this product. Apparently I missed an eyeliner. Um, this is Glimmer Stick in the shade Emerald, which I've used quite a bit, judging by the worn down nib. That is Emerald there. It is beautiful. Um, you can see like the tip is completely flattened. Very, very pretty. Okay, and before I go on to lipsticks, I'll just quickly run through all the lip liners that I have here. I have quite a few, so um, let's get started. I've also I also have another eyeliner that I've missed. This is in Glimmering Quartz. And this is just sort of like a sheeny golden shade. Although I think this would be nice for like highlighting your cupid's bow. But anyways, onto the lip liners. We have the shade Pink Nude. Which looks like that. I need to do something about the packaging that makes them stand out against the eyeliners. Uh, this is in the shade Simply Spice. It's a gorgeous brownie nude shade there. And this is in True Red. The name says it all. Well, this is in the shade Blushing Move. Has actually a uh, kind of a nice sheen to it. Well, this is in the shade Nude. This lip liner is it, kind of like a non liner, really. If you were just putting a gloss on, it would be good, but I feel like it's too light to line most lips. This is in the shade Plumberry, which I love using with Hot Plum, which I will show you shortly. Plumberry. Uh, this is in Coffee Bean. One of those really nice sort of dark brown 
shades. Uh, this is in very nice. Almost um, like a hot pink shade, like a fuchsia. And we have coral, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous orange. It kind of reminds me of one I have from Rimmel. And lastly, we have Peach Envy, which is a really nice sort of dirty peach shade. Very pretty. So first off, I have a couple of lip care products. I have the Lip Plumping um, Lip Conditioner from the Anew range, and that is all I have left. <laughs> I've actually ordered um, another one because I've, I love it. It's an amazing lip treatment. We have the... Um, I can't remember what these are called. Um, they're the tinted balms that you get from the True Color range. This first shade is Protecting Peach. Um, I thought because these were like balms with color, like in the in the brochure it says full color. Uh, there's pearlized ones and then there's one that say full color. This is Refreshing Raspberry. And I figured that even though it said full colour, they would just be like a wash, but they're actually fairly pigmented for tinted balms. And this last one is Smoothing, no, Soothing Sangria. They are gorgeous and I think they'd be perfect for a, like holidays kind of thing. If you wanted like a, a splash of colour but you still wanted something hydrating on your lips, those would be like go-to products. I have some of the um, Color Trend lipsticks. These are, these appeared around about September time and then disappeared again, but I know they're coming up in a more, um, in a future catalog. So I figured it would be a good time to share them with you. Um, there's a funky color called Green Blast. Um, it's actually, it is a good green if you're looking for a green lipstick. Um, we have a Vivid Grape, which I actually really like. Um, so there is Vivid Grape. Uh, Moon Dust, which is sort of like a cooler toned nude. These are a matte formula. They're quite a dry matte formula, but they're not like... Um, they're dry as in stiff to apply, but they don't seem to dry out the lips too bad. This is Sandstone, which I have used quite a bit of. It's like a gorgeous warm nude there. And then we have Wild Berry, which again I have used quite a bit of. I was kind of disappointed when this range sort of appeared on a catalogue and then vanished. Because I do really like the colours. Yes, Green Blast is a bit out there. It definitely is. But the rest of the colours in the range are really nice. And the Colour Trend lipsticks are fairly inexpensive. I think I got them... Um, I got them at demo price, so they were like one twenty-five a piece, um, and I think full price they would have been like one fifty, and like full price color trend lipsticks are about three fifty, but they almost are never in the catalog for full price. Um, I have one lipstick from the new Luminous Velvet range. I got this when I first signed up. It was sort of like a demo. Uh, this is in Luminous Nude, and it's basically gold. It is stunning. I have a bunch of samples from this range, and they are gorgeous. Um, I might pick up a few in the full size. We'll see. We'll see. I have a few from the color. Um, I have a few from the True Color range. This is Blush Nude, which, as you can see, I've used a lot of. I kind of picked this one up and it sat in my makeup bag and just kind of got demolished. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. Um, this is Toasted Rose, which I kind of thought I would use more of, but I haven't actually. It was in a gift with purchase because um, I was just so obsessed with Blush Nude. Um, but that one is a really nice darker nude. And then we have Dream Fuchsia, which... Again, I thought I would have used more of, but it kind of went missing for a little bit. And that is a fuchsia with a sort of pearlescent sheen. 
We have Sparkling Nude, which was kind of a disappointment. I mean, I use it a lot, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's very, very sheer with like a, it's a very sheer beige with shimmer shot through it. It's definitely good if you're, if you want something on your lips, but you don't want it to look like you're wearing much on your lips. And then we have Chic, which again is a lipstick that I've used a fair amount of. I mean, it's, it's taken a beating. Um, so I'll put this one over here. This is Chic. Definitely a darker, darker shade. And that just leaves our um, matte range. Um, I can't remember the exact name of this range. I got a book handy. No, I don't. No, I don't. I've usually got books everywhere, but I've tidied up recently. And oh no, I do. I've got a book here. These guys are called the. These guys are called the perfectly matte lipsticks, and we're actually doing. Uh, a collaboration with a makeup artist from um, who used to work on X Factor and uh, Britain's Got Talent. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, um, but I can't remember her name off the top of my head. <laughs> and that uh, and um, is it Ant or is it Deck? Let Let's not get into you know celebrity dramas. Um, but his ex wife was the makeup artist on X Factor. Um, Britain's Got Talent, I think Dancing with the Stars as well possibly, but she's now head of hair and makeup um, on Strictly Come Dancing and a few other shows with the BBC and she's working with Avon to create a, a nudes range and she's using some of the lipsticks from this range in her collections. So this is the shade Divine Twig. These are gorgeous. I've used quite a few of these shades already and I do have a lot of them in samples as well. This is in Lush Coco. I freaking adore this lipstick. Like if you like that Sandstorm, I think it was called, was it Sandstorm or Sandstone? Sandstone. If you like Sandstone from the True uh, Color Trend range, Lush Coco is probably the closest um, from the main line that you'll get to it. This is Magnificent Mauve. This is one where the um, tester was always sold out so I had to buy the full size just to find out what colour it is. And it was stunning. Very, very pretty. This is Hot Plum, which I'm obsessed with. I used up a whole sample of this one. So I was like, I, I need a full size. I do. Next we have Merry Magenta. This came out before Christmas. I'm not sure if it's sticking around though or if it was just a Christmas launch. It's a gorgeous hot pink. I have two hot plums apparently because I'm excessive. And then we have Roseberry Red. I think I must have ordered it twice by accident. So that is a Roseberry Red. And that guys is everything that I was sitting on in that basket, apart from a few little bits and bobs, like a, a, a lip tattoo and an eyeshadow and an eyeshadow duo. I think that was absolutely everything apart from those things. Um, next up, I was gonna do the skincare items that I've gotten from Avon, and I still need to talk about like the shower hair body stuff that I've picked up as well. Um, so those videos will be coming up soon and then I have like a few other bits that I want to share with you. If I know not everyone's going to like these Avon haul videos, but I, I'm an Avon rev, but I'm also an Avon addict. I love Avon. You know, you get like your, your one friend who's like a sensi fiend. I'm your friend who loves Avon. I'm your friend that, that, that just is addicted to Avon. Like whenever I was younger and the cat would come out, I'd be like... I want everything in every colour. That was basically the, the beginning of thatness was Avon catalogues when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, <laughs> probably not the best career move of my life, but uh, I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying all the products and having the little incentive gifts here and there is, it's, it's a perk, it's a perk, but most of the stuff 
I buy, I buy myself. Um, so yes. Um, but yeah, if you don't like these videos, don't watch them. It's fine. I'm not going to be offended. I'm just excited about the products and I want to share them with people. So yeah, I will carry on making the videos whether anyone watches them or no. <laughs> Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions about anything or any of the products or pricing or anything like that, just ask away. Um, I will leave a link to my um, Avon store in the info box. Um, you can order from my store anywhere in the UK and you can get shipped direct to your door, free shipping over £30. Awesomes. Uh, <laughs> shameless plug. Uh, but I will try and get um, little individual um, what's the word? Posts up with product swatches for each range and um, I've, once I get into a proper routine I will start doing like tutorials and stuff with these things so I'll catch you guys later thank you so much for watching I'm sure I've already said this already already said this already I'm, I'm yeah I'm done. I'm done I've talked too long my, my brain is trying to mush so I will catch you guys later bye bye <laughs>